be talking about whether or not the PS4 or even the PS4 Pro is even worth owning in 2024. Let's get to the video. I would have to say yes and no when it comes to is the PS4 worth owning in 2024? And the reason why I say yes is because of the fact that PS4s are pretty much cheap now. And also too, if you pick up a PS4 or a PS4 Pro that has firmware 9.0, that allows you to jailbreak your PS4, which allows you to run Linux, which allows you to run Steam. You can also run emulators on your jailbroken PS4. For. You can also run, you know, Super Nintendo games, N64 games, PlayStation 1 games, PlayStation 2 games on your jailbroken PS4. I mean, you can even put in an internal SSD on your PlayStation 4. I mean, the possibilities are pretty much endless when it comes to having a jailbroken PS4 or a PS4 Pro than, say, to have a PS4 or a PS4 Pro in 2024 that isn't jailbroken. I mean, the possibilities are pretty much limited, which comes to why I have to say, no, the PS4 is not worth owning in 2024. And that is because, pretty much, we have a PlayStation 5 now with a eternal M.2 SSD, which allows you to play your PlayStation 4 games with faster load times. You know, having your PlayStation 4 games now running at a stable 30 or 60 FPS, it allows you to run your PlayStation 4 games at the highest dynamic resolution, whether it's only a base PlayStation 4 version or a PlayStation 4 Pro version of that said game. And... Yeah, I mean, having those mechanical hard drives, which is pretty much what the PlayStation 4 and the PlayStation 4 came with, I mean, it's kind of hard to go back to these consoles right here, you know, especially that PlayStation 4 in 2024 because of that. So, yes and no when it comes to the PlayStation 4, whether or not it is worth owning in 2024. That's pretty much it. What did you guys think? Do you guys think PS4 is worth owning at this point? Let me know in the comment section below this YouTube video. This is Levon Cases signing out. And peace! So now that you have made it to the end of the video, I want you guys to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and when you hit that notification bell, you gotta hit all notifications so that way you can be notified for future live on case and tech videos future live on case and gaming videos future live on case and live streams and also other videos that i do such as you know reaction videos and and things of that nature bye